Damn. Yo, 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 what's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', you already know, uh, the Gemini podcast. Excuse me? The Gemini Scorpio podcast. Hey, you already coming, leaving me out. The Gemini Scorpio podcast. Damn, J Hill, back again with another. Back at it again, you changed. Back at it again. You changed your Instagram name, Healer Bay. Healer Bay underscore, it is I, I am in the flesh on all social media platforms, Twitter. I do have a Twitter now, I'm so impressed. Nice. I made a Twitter last week, and I've been talking big shit on there. It's Yo, so exciting. It's so fun. I she talking how, big shit. Yeah, he was getting on my nerves yesterday. I was in there, big music lyrics. But let me do that, though. Let me do that. And she coming at my neck like, you know that it can be taken this way. You tweeting this and that and that. But I ain't sweet enough. I was talking about, you know, what is the name? Partisan. He was like, face like Aaliyah, Sade with the vibes. Hello. So I wasn't talking about you. I was just in my back. He ain't like it. It's okay. Back at it again to the Gemini Scorpio podcast. We are here. Yo, we uh we love each other today. We do. We do. I just wanted to tell you sorry. I was... Yo, wait until she got on camera to do that. Yo, she is all cap. Yo. And no, I did so we know we did tell each other yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last week was a little spicy, you know, and I really wasn't fucking with Jay last weekend because he was really on some shit. But I also apologize for what I did to Facts. him. And I love you so much. I'm so sorry. I love you too, babe. It's I so good because we actually talked about it. It was well, really good. Take a drink okay, to that. Okay, come on. Boom. Cheers take a to toast. that. Yeah, yeah, to that. Mm hmm. To apologies. She's drinking wine. I'm not. He's drinking <laughs> crown. I'm not. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> but nah, man, um, let's hop into it. You already know, uh, Gemini Scorpio podcast. Let's get this first things first out the way. Shout outs. Yeah. yeah um, Yo, first and foremost, um, the credit goddess. Yo, the credit goddess. Shout out to her. Last week, I woke up and just logged in to check my credit. I went up 24 points on them. If you ain't messing with credit, the goddess, I don't know what you're doing because I don't know what you're, about y'all, but 2020 about to look real nah. different for me. This is not an ad. This is real life. Like, nah, facts. Like, my credit went up, and I was just so pressed. Everything just said... Things just started saying remove, 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 remove. remove, remove. remove. <laughs> uh, on time payments. Look, I know y'all want to act too good. Like y'all always had good credit. I started so, real early jacking mine up. So, so I um I started off. I could be transparent with it. Mine was like five twenty four. She got me up to like a six, uh, like six forty. Yeah. Like it was like well, six forty. Like, like yeah, yeah, in like, like three, three weeks. weeks. And he's still moving up. Yeah. Well, well. She got me to like six four. <laughs> you know, I, I made a couple mistakes, but credit is important. Um, she actually, she actually have plans for you. Yeah. She actually have uh, amazing financial advice. Yeah, a financial advisement. You can go to her. She can tell you what to do once she get it up. She can she can keep it up by um. She has companies that she work yep. with that she can get you more credit lines yep. and just continue she, to raise she your credit. Just, she does the damn thing. So yeah, I definitely yeah, yeah. want to shout out Credit Goddess. Because shout out to the Credit Goddess. She's about to get me into that eight hundred club, and I don't know what y'all doing, but y'all better follow behind me. Facts, so facts. Good. Uh, uh, you already know. Um, shout out to my guy Cashland. Cashland. Uh, again, I always say two stores in Baltimore: one on Pratt Street, one on uh, one in Security Square Mall. Make sure you check it out. Uh, he's doing his this uh, Cashland. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> he's doing this contest. It actually starts Wednesday. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna put the song. He has a song with Take Ho Bang, Young Moose, and um, GNC. He's gonna put the song on YouTube on Wednesday. Uh, once the song is put on YouTube, he's gonna have an open verse at the end of the song. Go to YouTube. You have to find his his YouTube is Cashline Apparel. So once you go to the YouTube, you find the song. The instrumental is gonna be at the end. Uh, you put your verse on the instrumental. You follow Cashline at Cashline on Instagram. Uh, hashtag Cashline Challenge. Uh, once you put the verse up, you had you make the hashtag. You follow Cashline. He's gonna choose the winner. Whoever is the winner. They get a year supply of cash line. That's wow. crazy. So he's going to sponsor crazy. you for a year. And his gear is fire. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even have to say on. nothing. Listen, cash line is one of the hottest brands in Baltimore. If you're not in Baltimore, you can go to cashline.com. You get what I'm saying? You can order all your stuff off of cash line. You can get on Instagram shop dot cash line or cash line and get all the fire here ordered to you. Um, Listen, man, it's, it's, a, it's a show enough real deal. What's up? You Did looking you know, good. You already know gym fitness on the body. Shout body. out to Corey for the body. The body. So, you know, I don't know about y'all, but gym fitness is where it's at. Like, neon spandex got you hugging tight and right. When I get into the gym, 
after Thanksgiving, I'll be wearing this, but I'm gonna wear it in the meantime anyway because it snatches me up. So, Gym Fitness, holla at my girl, Gym Fitness, uh, at Gym Fitness on yeah. Instagram, at Slim C for the owners to get all body goals. She's giving body goals everywhere. So, shop Gym Fitness. I'm always in it. I got all colors. You'll see it in on and everywhere. So, you already gym know fitness. the vibes. Hey, um, we're gonna hop right into it. Listen, first and foremost, um, Everything is real to the point it feel like reality <laughs> podcast. Is reality podcast. Like the real. But anyway, um, I just wanted to make note, uh, we did the first thing we said was how we um we apologize and shit. We did. We but really that's did. the importance of just coming back, looking at the podcast, listening to it, seeing it, and then coming back and saying, Yo, I was wrong on yeah. this because I, I I apologize as well. I, I, I apologize. Uh, a lot of points was wrong. And a lot of things just be miscommunication for real. That's- and I don't want our audience to see this and be like, they be going at each other neck, they toxic. It can be toxic if you don't communicate after. Exactly. So the one thing I did fuck with about uh, last week's episode, I Don't Fuck With You, was after it was done, which y'all didn't see, was we did come back and we talked about it. We we went to, we went on how, what we could have did better, yeah. where we went yeah. wrong, we apologized, mm-hmm. and then we had a great night. So like... Yeah. Shout out to I that. Mean, shout out to us for that. Shout out to us because a lot of people don't get to see what yeah. happens behind scenes, you Facts. know. And just communication is key and it is a uh, Woo, child, communicating is just very tiresome, yeah. but the fact that you continuously do it and you grow through it, it has a beautiful ending. So we make sure we communicate even if it's painful as hell, because sometimes that shit is painful because look. That's fact. A Gemini ain't easy to deal with. You hear what I'm saying? What's up? Okay. All right. <laughs> That's actually a perfect segue into um what I wanted to talk about, right? What you want to talk about today? So, we all have our moves, right? But I feel like with women, they will admit to tread, having... Tread lightly, because you said with women, and I just felt that going real left. So, I just... All right, go ahead. With women. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I feel like with women, even when they have their conversations with their other friends, they be like, yeah, because I know I'm a handful. I know he got to <laughs> deal with me and all this and all that. And I feel like y'all also understand y'all have moods and y'all are moody just because y'all just have hormones. Hormones, yeah. I didn't. I was wanted to say it right. Y'all have hormones, and I feel like that comes with being moody, even with PMSing, your period, all all that, all of these things are come with like having a mood attached to it. Um, I just want to know, but in well, before I even go in, right? But in your mood, you won't. Admit to having a mood. Like, I'll be like, all right, you just PMSing, or all right, you just don't your period. At that time, you'll be like, no, it ain't because of that. It ain't because of that. But then, like, the next week or the, a couple days later, you'll be like, you know what? I was just going through what I was going through. I apologize. How do we deal with you in your mood in that moment? Well, first the fuck of all, you don't say, well, I know you're just PMSing. Like, how insensitive is Wait, that? Wait, how is that insensitive? All, it's insensitive. Like, you can't just, like, first of all, I think men need to realize that we are, sorry, TMI, bleeding for seven whole days. If you're seven, I'm not seven. But for, like, you don't experience that. So it might come with a, a series of different emotions and hormones. Like, I know... The week before, like, I'm usually a real big crybaby. Like, everything bothers me. I'm very upset. So I will say, yes, I do have the girl hormonal tactics. Sometimes I might be a little crazy. So you if know, you know I'll that. Admit, I'll admit that, right? Right now. But right, doing no, it, I'll be like. Right, because during it, I'm emotional. Like, when, when you're mad and you're, like, fuming off the hinges, are you like, I'm mad? No. Like, you're I just mean, like, sometimes I do. No, like, sometimes, sometimes you'll you, be like, Jay, you this. And I'm like, you know what? I'm a, I, I might be doing that. I don't mean no, to. No, a lot of times, like, you think you're right in your moment and you feel like it's justified. That's not true. Like, you'll be angry. You're getting your points out. Like, you know, not directly to me, but in any situation. And a lot of times, you're not like, let me reflect right here and get the deeper cause of why I'm angry. You're just like upset I do. and you, and it's justified. That's not fucking true, bro. I feel like sometimes I do. On right, some real, like, go with this cat no, stuff. we'll like, talk, we'll be talking. Today. We'll be talking and you'll be like, you think you know everything. And I'll be like, all right, so... What is it that I think I know everything about? I'll sit there and I'll be like, you know what? Okay, I've heard that before. And I've said this in the middle of argument. Okay, like, no, you know what? People I, tell me that before. All right, you'll say that, but it's not all the time. Like, you know, so so there'll be sometimes maybe it's like, yeah, I know I'm PMS and I'm no, I'm just like, 
you know, but you cannot just jump out there, first of all, and be like, all I right, use I, PMSing, I, understand, I, get it, I understand, because I, honestly, there's times when we are PMSing, but there's times that our feelings are still going to be justified. But just because we're in that that situation doesn't mean that this is less valid. So, for example, if I'm really upset about something and I am PMSing at the same time, I could still be just as much upset about this. And it not have nothing to do with each other. But then you'll so go you to your friend. To, you don't need to correlate them all the time. Sometimes it's not justified. <clears throat> and we got to learn to say, like, nah, that wasn't justified. But I always, like you said, I'll come back and be like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, I was acting a little. But sometimes women do not like to, for men especially, or anybody, to be like, oh, you was like that because you were in your period. Because first of all, I am entitled to feel every way I feel at any given moment, whether I'm on my period or not. That's a fact. But sometimes it be over overreacting because of you on your period and i feel like at those times you'll be overreacting and i'll be like you know what i understand you know what i'm saying like that's me but, saying you know what i understand i feel that's bullshit because i feel like you Why can't be bullshit it. you will conclude it all the time as you're on your period so i know this is why right. you're acting like that when in hindsight i may just have a justified reason why i'm acting like that i'm just in that season so justify but they this. don't correlate so, with each other so justify this right okay it seems like every single time you come on your period or you're about to come on your period we have a big argument so if i if, if i put those numbers together right and i i start doing the math and i'm like you know what this happens every time she comes on her period or every time she's about to come on her period right and then it'll happen and i'll see it happen and i'll be like you know what i ain't upset i understand you're about to come on your period you might be going through some things and it's fine but you'll be like no it ain't so it can't be just okay so what if just to give you some perspective, so that's just a right? coincidence. Every I'm time not you saying it's a coincidence, but what if sometimes, a lot of the times, I let you be you, but when I'm on my period, I'm just not with the shits. So if that's the case, because then... what if I'm just a lot of times like I, it's not, I'm not paying it no mind, but when I'm on my period, I just don't give a fuck, and like now you got me fucked up, and then I let you slide all 365, but on these couple days throughout that 365 you're not about to try me if, what if, if it's, what if it's that if that's the case you really don't fuck with me then that's not true because if you gotta let you, me slide all the it's time not but then slide it's i've accepted you for who you are that's like no. so then sometimes there's just certain behaviors all right we're gonna keep it a stack let's keep it a stack there's everything our significant other does we don't just love of course. all right like that's just not true so there's things that we have learned to accept because we love majority of them but even the parts that we don't love we have chose to accept right so what if those problems in my pms stage i just be like you know what today of all days mother I'm not even with the shits. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't necessarily mean that's the coincidence that we're arguing on my PMS because I'm always PMSing and now we're arguing. Or it's just that that's just the day I'm not letting you rock on nothing. What about that? Perception. What you got to say? I just feel like, yo, it goes back to woman and accountability. Like, because all that makes sense and I can't even argue that. And y'all know, have y'all, have, have y'all, <laughs> as y'all have seen, I will argue it. But, that makes sense. And I have to give you that. However, it's like, yo, when does the man ever, when is the man ever able to like just be right and own it? And be like, you know what? Yo, you and your period. And you know what? You right. I am on okay, my period. If you would, if, but you, in, in hindsight, right? Let me, let me give you this though. You did make a lot of sense and I can't really fight it. I will give you that. Okay. But what I will say, I'm not saying that's always the case. Okay. So I'll, I'll give you that. Like, I'm not saying that's always the case. Like, so in those moments when it's not the case, right? Mm -hmm. But you, you, you are feeling away, which mm -hmm. is understandable. How do we handle that? Like, how, how do we handle think, you while I you're think, in that mood? I think we only ask, okay. I think we I'm only hungry. ask for, I'm not hungry. Four to seven days a month, right? Does it really for way kill, more than that? That's does, not true. Does it really kill for four to seven days in a month for you just to be completely catered to? Can we get like I mean, can we just be catered to for four to seven days? Does that really bother you? So y'all only ask for four. You are a liar. Y'all don't. I ask, feel like we only ask, fully care about it right, so for seven this. days. So watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So, Out right, the month. Fair. All right, watch this. So don't they, sass they, me. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Don't try to argue with that's me. Not true. Don't come over here with the bullshit. Just Fair like enough. you know what, Bay's in her mood. Bay, you want ice cream? You want chocolate? You want to go to the spa? You what you want? You want to cuddle for four to seven days out of a month? Can that just be? Can we normalize that? All right, cool. Like, can we have right, let's, that? Let's break it down. So, okay, 
What about even when y'all on y'all period? I always want to cuddle, and you don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be cuddled. I don't want to cuddle with uh, you're too heavy or it's hot. Get off me. So, and then when I'm not on you, you can't even hug on me. You can't even give me love. Like I'm on my period, I'm in pain. Like make up your mind. Yes. So how, yes. Yes. That's the answer. But so to answer my yes. question, there's no way to handle it. There's no way to to handle you while you're in the mood. All I'm saying is just. You know, I said to Jay one day, I was like, what do I look like an octopus? He said, yeah. Yeah. He's like, you're super woman, you can, get it done. Super yeah. Be super man and get it the fuck done. Like, do it all. If I'm too hot, loosen up a little bit. I said, you know, you too tight, loosen up a little bit. I'm a, I'm cold, <laughs> give me a little blanket partial. Put one foot in, one foot out. Like, just, Bet. do you know, so give the, me a little everything. So the answer to your question, the only way we can deal with you in those times is to be Superman. Yes. I take that. All right. Okay. I, you know what? In respect, I'll take that because I've have I have said like. Can we talk about how men are moody too? Yeah. So can we talk about men have invisible periods that they don't know they have throughout certain times, and then they're going through the same PMS stage? All right. So what I will say is, can we I talk about that? I don't because think it's PMS, men be moody. Though. I so I can speak for myself. All right. Come on. I am moody. You, 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 I'm you, moody as fuck. As fuck. But hold up. Let's talk about how like you you'll have these these pause that set for a second. <laughs> Let's talk about how we'll have these transparent conversations and then they'll try to hold on to it for life. Like, I'll be upset about something and then here she come. Yeah, that's because you moody. Like, nigga, I told you that. Like, but they try to hold it against you anyway. But yeah. And it's actually one to like a second subject I want to talk about, but I was going to say it for next week. But I guess we can go into this. Like, I am moody. And I feel like humans are moody. Like, that's I'll have that. a I'll have a great day. I'll come in and I'll come in the house and then you'll do the slightest thing that'll just irritate the shit out of me. I'll come in the crib and I'll be like, what up, bae? I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Because she had a bad day. She's not as excited. And she'd be like, oh, hey. And I'm like, the fuck? Now, I, I done went through a thousand scenarios in my head. Like, damn, I'm happy as shit. I just made a lot of money for us. You know what I'm saying? I come in the crib. You can't even give me a hug. Whole time, you done went through some shit. And that's not to take, that's not to take away from what you've been through. But at the same time, because I'm an individual, I feel a way. And I was like, damn, man. I don't even want to be bothered at this point. But... You're right. Niggas be, I mean, I, I be moody. I mean, if you just want my overall analytical answer to the question, um, I think everybody is moody. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not eat properly. A diet has a part of that. Oh, come on. Our Healers Bay? Our lifestyle, Healer Bay? Has, our lifestyle has a huge part of that. Our busy, you know, busy lifestyles, our need for social media all the time and adapting everybody else's emotion and just a, absorbing all these energies throughout the week. A let alone what 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 title vision say? You sound like a pick me, cause like that sound like some shit that that was politically correct. You it's know, not politically like we are correct. moody it's, because it's, like we're not real. eating how right. Much, how much greens you ate this week? You're moody. How much water you drank this week? Yo, you're moody. Like people don't understand. Like when we are lacking on sleep, lacking on water intake, lacking on green, which feeds all of our energizing tools in our body yes we are moody you know what i mean so overall i think a lot of times if you would just stop one jay doesn't like to slow down he likes to work 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 if he actually takes the moment to actually sleep like yesterday it was a rainy saturday we sat down to eat and watch a movie like I, he fell asleep for two seconds he jumped up like i gotta do something i gotta do something i'm like boy if you don't go to sleep because it's raining it's cold because bills don't ain't stop with the rain and, and and that's fine and neither does your lifespan like like so you are don't want to get any rest but you don't understand that your rest is promoting you to work later down the road so you can go ahead and live that lifestyle you know i let it sleep baby i'm gonna get my nap anywhere anytime but you also have a, a fucking great job so like it's not it's, about having a great job it does that's I a, so my job can overwork me if they want it to but again, i don't allow myself to be so even if even if they don't bare minimum right even if your job don't overwork you at the minimum, you have a great job. Okay. Me, on the other hand, not so much. So it's like, I can't just sleep through, I don't know, a nigga want an uh, interview or I don't, somebody wants something edited. I can't just sleep through that because if I miss the opportunity, who knows when it's going to come again? And I understand that. But if you do not find the time, the sleep will take it from you anyway. You'll get sick. You'll Facts. break down. Your your body will not move the same way you need it to to be in presence of that interview or what you need to do. So you can make a thousand excuses why you can't rest and take your time to yourself. But baby, it's going to take it from you one way or another. It's so turned into a whole counseling You can either do session. it or you don't. Haler Bay underscore follow me. Um, you know, but that's just all I have to say to that. But if you was 
drinking all your water and eating your vegetables, you wouldn't be as moody because you don't have a period. See, we are justified. But when we come to you and you want to sit here and tell like, me. I know you eat your rice and cabbage. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> all right. You know what's going on. All right. What was it? Even question? though I need to cut out rice. I, I'm Caribbean. We eat a lot of rice with everything. I need to cut that shit out because that shit ain't starch. Okay. Um, what's next? You said you ain't. Oh, even... oh. So my question that was. That you wanted to save. So you can surprise did, me on I camera. Su- I wasn't surprising you, but then I was so excited to tell you, you know, sorry again. But my question is apologizing, mm. right? It's surrounded. Apologizing. Not even just to your significant other, though, in general, right? So I actually had a conversation with a friend, and we had a little moment, and we were, you know, in this apologizing stage, and we were talking, and I realized that, you know, how do you apologize? Like, how? How, how, like, like, or when what, do you know, or, or when do you know to well, apologize when, when is when it was wrong, when is yeah. right? How much time do you think you need between that, and what does it take for you to apologize? That's a great. So, what does it take? That's a great question right there. But so, um, to answer when, right? As soon as I find out I'm wrong, like as soon as I find out I'm wrong, a lot of times we get in arguments. Not just us, but like people in general. And honestly, like the argument is because you think you're right. I mean, it is what it is. Like, yeah. so when people are like you always think you're right, nigga, we both think we're right. The fuck, it would be an argument. Right. Like, That's a fact. But so, like, I feel like once you figure out, and not everybody does this, but for me, once I figure out I was wrong, I'm like, yeah, I apologize, my bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, you learn a lot from my bad. You right. learn a lot from apologies because you ain't know. So now you know. So now I can use that in another argument to keep yeah. it 100. But like, like, that's just the competitive in me. But, um, I feel like that's when, but that's when, when do I apologize? Uh, as soon as I find that I'm wrong for me. Um, what does it take? What you said? What does it take? Like, how do you find out when you're wrong or something like that? That's the harder question because it's like, we always are stuck in our, our mind and because we've gotten to where we are and we think we've seen a little bit of success. It's like, mm-hmm. what I did to get me here is what got me here. So you can't tell me to change anything about me because I wouldn't be in a place that I'm, I'm in if it wasn't for who I was, right? Mm-hmm. When honestly, we can be a a thousand percent better. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We don't know so if we were to change something coming up, uh, coming up in our life that we probably been further. Mm-hmm. How we are now probably held us back to where we are and we think we for, for our whole time, we not even nowhere near where we, where we could have been, right? Um, so to answer this, like, I don't know, because it's like, I would have to, it would have to be something to show me that I'm mm-hmm. wrong, right? Or it would have to be a compromise to be like, you know what? I love you so much that I'm willing to look at it from another point of view. So it's like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I'm going to trust you. And that's why I think, and, and, and going into that, I just think is a, I don't want to get too long mm-hmm. with it, but I just feel like it goes into even a deeper of a conversation because like it goes into the conversation of when you're in a relationship and understanding that you got to unlearn everything that you learned exactly. just so you can get be a better yeah. you because once yeah. you ho- as long as you hold on to everything that you think you know you can't know anything can't else grow. yeah so it's yeah. like that's really t- to some of that no, i really sh- like that um it's crazy because what i got out of you know situations just even with you and i and you know, talking to my friend and advising her in our own personal situation, um, I realized that apologizing really is only for you. Right. Like it, you you cannot wait for a reaction or or depend your apology on a reaction. What I mean by that, like, so my friend said sorry to me, right? Mm-hmm. And when she said sorry, it was instantly like well I said sorry so we should be all good and I had to explain that and I'm learning this myself and not to you know put on that I had to explain that just because you say you're sorry to somebody does not mean they have to accept it Mm -hmm. ever when you say sorry you really have to be coming from yourself and saying you know I recognize where I'm wrong and I was willing to self-reflect enough where I'm like okay you know I really apologize for the way I may have made you feel or how I reacted and those things. And if you choose, whether you choose to accept it now, don't talk to me or whatever, that has nothing to do with me, but just know when you are ready, I'm sorry. Right. I think a lot of times people say sorry and it is often to get the reaction of the other person like, okay, well, I forgive you. Or okay, we can move forward. But sometimes people will not want to move forward and we have to be okay with that and know that our sorry was really for us and we were doing it for the better of ourselves and not necessarily for the other person. And um, I think we all... You know, I had to, when I thought about it and I was telling her this, I was like, damn, sometimes I think even like I'll say sorry to you or sorry to somebody and I'm like, 
all right, it should be over. Like I said, I'm sorry. Or I think I found myself saying that before. Like, you know, I said, sorry, like, why are you, st you know, you shouldn't still be mad. But in hindsight, you cannot tell somebody when or how they should get over something or when it should be done or if, you know, they should be moving forward in it. Sometimes people can take months, days, weeks, whatever time they want to take to get over something. And that's really not up to you, ultimately. So I think that's, you know, my major thing when it comes to saying sorry. Yo, um, so like, it's funny that you say that because it comes, that goes into the conversation about expectation. Right. And it right. was a quote, I don't know the exact words I was looking for, but it was basically saying that once you attach expectations to what you do, you take away the reason of what you did it for. Because now mm -hmm. you did it for a reaction, you did it for a reason. Right. And it, instead of it being, I did it because I wanted to do it. Yeah. So yeah. like, I feel like we just got to eliminate expectations period right. because when you eliminate the expectations that's when you become genuine yep. it can't yep. be genuine once you have anything on uh, right you exactly. get what i'm saying so like now i'm apologizing because right. i don't want you to be upset when i should be apologizing because i recognize I'm really what a, i did exactly. Right. exactly so once you put that expectation on anything when you charity uh, uh apologies um anything period mm -hmm. gifts once you put expectation on it you eliminate in the reason you did it right exactly so, like, nah, so i think that was concluded everything I had to say about okay. that. So that was good because I just wanted to make that was clear because I know when we apologize to each other for, you know, even last week episode or whatever, and you apologize to your friends and things like that, we have to understand that apology oftentimes comes with, like they say, change behavior. It's really not what that person is expecting and how they may move after we did it. It's not up to us anymore. Now so, I know we all, like that. we all for like each other's like questions but it was something that we talked about uh during the week that um and i guess we can we don't need a story time because this could be like our story right okay well. so like you were saying that how people apologize to you and then from your from your point of view it's like they'll try to play a role or do something to put the attention back on them oh yeah and I what that. i was saying was i didn't agree with that i think mm -hmm. that people just have their separate feelings so somebody can apologize to you and really really want you to know mm -hmm. why they apologize and mm -hmm. really want it to be understood when it's like mm -hmm. you is like yo you apologize to me now I need my time mm -hmm. let's not let's not focus on your why mm -hmm. let's focus on how I feel but I feel right. like both should be it should be an equal amount of focus on both sides right. but again I'm not about to be mad or upset when you feel like yo it should be focused on me right. but at the same time I can still understand the other part is like yo right shit i feel bad i need your help right. or i need you to walk me through this as well so it's crazy because how i feel about that and just to break down like if you apologize to me right mm -hmm. and you apologize to me and i i feel like i'm i'm a person with a strong amount of boundaries so it's either i'm gonna let you know if i'm i'm rocking with it or i don't so right up then i'm like you know what it's not that big a deal i forgive you right or i'm gonna be like you know i ain't really fucking with you right now right mm -hmm. i'm really i'm hot or cold i'm not really in between now if i say forgive you something i do not like and it might be me whatever i do not like for so i'll say like i'll forgive you and then after it'll be like a thing like you know i just really feel bad and like you know you know i shouldn't have did and it's just like okay that's cool look we're past that let's move forward and it's still like you know but i'm still just going through it because i shouldn't it's like first of all like what you're not going to do is take the attention off of the fact that i've already forgiven you for something you've done but you're not going to put the attention on you so i have to pity you in your scenario for doing something to me i'm not doing that you can feel your way that's fine but personally i'm going to tell you like you know what look you said sorry i forgive you but i'm not doing that because at that point now you're dragging me back down something that I'm already, up. I, I'm, I forgive you, but we don't need to keep going back th through that because you're going to put me in another space to still feel like, you know what, maybe you is still dead ass wrong. And I think you should just let me forgive you. I already chose to forgive you. Don't keep beating a dead horse because once you beat the dead horse, I don't know, I might fucking wake up. Like, so, I don't so know. Like, my, I don't want to deal with that. My like, question to that is, all right, so do you believe in forgive and forget? No, you for, you forgive you forgive and you you know you never forget you so, never forget you forgive and you grow like it's right. not forgiving forget. so when you forgive somebody don't you think you should when, once you shouldn't forgive somebody until you're truly over it i think that ideally i think that makes sense right like you shouldn't forgive somebody until you're fully over it but i think sometimes people forgive people with the intentions like we could still grow through it and i think that's okay like but you have to understand that 
we are growing through it. So even though I forgive you, I'm letting you still grow through it with me. If I don't forgive you, that means I cut you off enough to not have the ability to grow with me through that scenario anymore. Or you cannot forgive somebody and don't have to cut them off. You just be like, yo, I don't forgive you yet. I need, I need more time to forgive you because me saying I forgive you means I'm over it. Now, I don't know. I'm asking you because I like, mean, that I'm, makes sense. To so me like still, to me, but... because if you forgive somebody and just mm -hmm. to go back to what you were saying, if you forgive somebody and they be like, yo, I really feel bad. You should be able to talk to them about that because you forgave them and it's, you're over it. You know, it's like, okay, I forgive you. Let's talk about it. You really feel bad or whatever the big case may be, da, da, da. We can talk about why you feel bad. Now, I don't have to worry about me getting put back in a place for me to bring it up because I forgave you and I'm over it. I think it's selfish. Personally, I, I just do. Like, I feel like, you know... Like, all right, you feel bad now, like, for what you've done, even though I chose to forgive you, right? And I'm telling you, like, I forgive you. It's all good. Like, let's do better the next time, right? But you want to have this kind of, like, I just really feel bad. And, you know, I don't know how to move forward for this. And I don't want you to be mad at me or whatever, like, all this stuff. Like, to me, I think it's selfish. Like, I don't think I'm that's like, selfish. I just think that's a person's right, feelings. But, but you know what? I think that that might be your feelings, but I think that's something that you have to deal with that L. You did wrong, not me. But you're, a, you're my friend. To, I should be able to talk to my friend about it, no? I'm your friend. You should be able to talk to your friends about things but to me sometimes i'm not your therapist when you've done me wrong like you get what i'm saying like just just fair enough like once you've done me wrong i can't i'm no longer like now i'm biased right. like you know what i'm saying so you shouldn't want to come to me even if the, with that problem you should go to your other friend and be like you know i really feel that she forgave me you know i need to talk about it i don't know go talk to your mother but like once you did me what? dirty look what the fuck? But once you did me dirty go talk to your mother or something i don't know because at that point like you're now putting me in a position to look at you like you don't respect my boundaries still. Like you already crossed it. I forgave you. And now you're still crossing it by forcing me to be in a situation with you where I'm forgiving you, but I also have to pity you for the same thing you've done with me. That's selfish. I, I don't That's look selfish. at it as being selfish, but um, I, I get it. I get it. I don't look at it as being selfish, but I do get it. So... I guess we you can know. just leave it at that. No, I mean, I feel, I, I fuck with it. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, but I just, like, in hindsight, humans are humans. And I think that we all have feelings. So I think that we all have to create certain boundaries so that people are not always dishing onto us things that, you know what I mean? We just really don't want to deal with. Me personally, if I say I forgive you, don't dump that shit on me. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't dump that shit on me because I can't handle that. You, I'm, I'm, I'm grown with you through the last process. And I don't want to continue to be hounded by something that you did to me. Uh -uh. I just don't. Amaya, go in the room. Cut you it out. she liked it. Bye. No, I actually did it for you. <laughs> like, anyway. <laughs> she loves me. Yeah, like, no, like. She's like, I got to sit in on the tea too. Right, like, no, she yeah, don't even play like that. Like, she, she thinks she's. Because she, she every she's... time Corey come over here, right. does she want to be a part of the show? And it's funny because like I remember when my parents used to always be like, <laughs> yeah, like my parents used to always be like, uh, like my parents always be like, this is grown this only grown ups in here. Like right. you only see Tana's child space. I'd be like I'm a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm yo uh, Yo, can up. we go into the, um it's mad shit going it's on. There's a lot of shit going on. It's, it's a, a lot it's of like it's a bunch of like it's a bunch of boys. Right, like, you wanna get so all right. We were talking about the um what the fuck is the the Harriet Tubman. Yo, it's a lot going on. But before R. that R. Harriet. But they, before that they were trying to get like a white chick to play Harriet. Julia Roberts. I love Julia Roberts. I don't you know who the fuck that is. Loved her in Stepmom. If you've seen Step, you don't know who Julia Roberts is? I suppose you. Love her. Yeah. She's been around for our whole, like, so, a lot So of basically us. you're saying it's okay for her to play t her Harriet. All right, no. bet, 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 bet. <laughs> bet, bet, bet. Don't, don't, like don't put the words in my mouth. She is, it's you not see how the whole okay. Room it's not okay for her to play Harriet Tubman. The whole room's like, like, you don't know Julia Roberts? No, like, like nigga, you don't no, know Denzel okay. Washington? Fuck you, me. Like, right. I mean, I'd rather him play motherfucking Harriet Tubman. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I don't know what's worse. Hey, hold up. Hold I'd, up. Rather, I'd rather Denzel come play Harriet Tubman. Put well, like a, a wig on him. Denzel, like, how would he do nah, that? Nah, the office Tyler Perry. Fuck you talking about? Medea is real. You feel what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is, no, let's talk about that because they are really seeing, oh my God. So, so I just want to know how, so the nigga said that like, it was so long ago that nobody would know or something he, like that. The executive producer said that Julia Roberts could play Harriet Tubman because nobody would tell the difference. So you mean to tell me. Boy, you, you don't get your, <laughs> like what? Nobody you would. mean to tell me you was going to paint her blackface. <laughs> so like, let's talk about you were going to paint her as a blackface. To be Harriet Tubman. So why, way to just double slap us in the face. Wow. You know what I mean? 
that does not make sense and let alone our history can we just it's tons of phenomenal black people like actresses actresses out here that can play here you tell me you mean out of all people you pick julia i would have why not why not fucking what's my girl we was watching on uh bad boys 2 you love beyonce it's like Gabrielle like, Union. Gabrielle, why not Gabrielle Union? <laughs> like, why not Gabrielle Union? I ain't gonna lie, niggas love Beyonce, like, you know, but everybody, I feel like everybody agree that she can't act. But I think she's good. No, 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 no. I no. think she alright though. No, I'm tripping. no, 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 no. Alright, back I, to Harriet Tubman. No, I, I think obsessed, she, I think obsessed. she did great in Obsessed. Like, uh, uh, I think she did great. Obsessed. You know, I I enjoy Beyonce, so I enjoy just seeing her doing. You know. And what's but, the other no. movie? What um, was it Obsessed? No, the other. I think she played the same actor. What? It's just Albert. She had two of them with him. It was another uh, one, I think. Mm, fuck it, fuck it, I fuck know. it. But I think but, she all right. But anyway, yeah, back but to her. I have to say, to have a white woman play my black ancestor, I feel violated for you to even think that that is okay. All right, so how, how about this? So you know what really irritated me, though, before you go into that? All right, go ahead, go ahead. The, everybody was like, but when yep. uh, a black girl could play I was about to go into that. First of all, are we talking about a fucking cartoon yeah. over our real life ancestor? I, are I, you crazy? I, a real life slave who has made legendary history? We're comparing her to a cartoon character. Somebody, please. Hey. Like, um, I had enough. No, you're right. Let's just like, you know. I was, I had enough. Don't Beyonce ever, don't ever grab Panther? a mic like that again. Pink I was like, Panther. You know, hey, don't Pink ever Panther. grab a mic like that again. You're putting too much imagery to the audience. I'm just saying. Don't grab the mic like that. Come on, man. So Get sorry. your shit right, man. <laughs> the fuck is going on, man? I didn't. Just grab the mic what with I'm supposed to do? He want me to do it like on, he want me man. to do it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Any, can't even do it my nails. Like how you fucking to... it up. You put they gonna hear that. Like all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fix it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He don't want me to like grab it and fix it. Like, what the fuck? Like say that. Nigga like said she she was in. Pink Panther, Cadillac Records. I think she did great oh in Cadillac God, Records. Oh my God, I loved her in Cadillac Let's go. Records. No, I will say that Cadillac Records was one of my favorite movies. Beyonce but, did But wait, well. wait, hold up. Talk about. Honestly, Jennifer Hudson did such a great little job that, like, I'm sorry. Okay, like, I got to okay, give her okay, respect. Okay, I ain't going to okay, lie. Like, okay, she bodied that yeah. shit. First like, of, that, she that, bodied that, that shit. That whole movie was a wave, though. I fucked with Cadillac Records. All right, so can we get into the, um, the Judge Joe Brown shit? Yo, poor Harriet. They just really doing my shit so dirty he, right now, and I'm not feeling it, yo. Do you I'll not, go play Harriet. So, like, so you don't snatch my motherfucking fronts off, and we'll go. So I want to play this, uh, this Judge no. Joe Brown shit, right? Yeah. And then um, we get, I ain't feeling him. All right, hold on. Let's play. Let's play. It. Got a Probably big problem if it's on a bill before they put a black man's face on one. I have a big problem Why? with that. Why? Do because you have a historically, with a black the status woman? of a, an ethnic group is determined by its men, not its women. And that you put a you, black woman on there before a black man is insulting to the black race because you're saying I, I, the I, men ain't uh, worth a damn. Put a woman I up there first. All right, so I ain't gonna lie. What's I ain't up? gonna lie. What's up? What's I, up? What's I don't up? What's know. Up? Hold on, I just want to make sure. I don't know. I just want to make sure I got my data correct. So that's why I'm just doing Let, something quick right now because judge. Okay, can I just say that he said that men academically first of all the ratio to women um, from women to men is two to one so to mm. every one man there's two women so for yeah. you to come out here talking about some we are academically men overpower women like that's that's why they're supposed to have it. that's bullshit the think... race is not carried by a, a man a black man let's not get that fucked up like it's not i'm so... sorry so and I can't disrespect women at all. My mom's a black woman. You know what I'm saying? Like I would have nothing. My girlfriend is black woman. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I can't disrespect the woman at all. What I will say is, just being the Gemini and the understanding and transparent Aww. person that I am. Pick a side, pick a side, I get pick what a side. I get. What he's trying to say. I don't think he's articulating it not in well the right. At all. Yeah, in the right way. Uh, but however, I feel like. He has, he kind of has a point. I want to be careful with this. I got to try it like, like you would say, right? In history, it, it always been like the man gained access first and then we brought the woman along. Like voting, uh, even in, like you look at sports like track and field, um, track was actually an all men's sport. Uh, they would do it naked and um, and that's why women wouldn't do it. Then, uh, then they adopted the woman. Um, but why does promoting women take away from men? No, wait, 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 wait. 
I don't think that it takes away women, but because our culture is how it, it is and how it was built, like even Adam, like you know what I'm saying, like you look at that, and if you want to be like, uh, I don't know, like you know, some people are just oh, he's old, he's old as shit, so he looks at things as how they used to be. Right, I, and, I and not how that. it's evolving. So I'm not saying that he's not wrong, because I, I would that. never say those comments about a woman like you're bugging, boy, like you're wilding. But to, to say th- I don't understand what he's trying to say, I just want to say, yo, if you don't respect your ancestors, I don't know what to say of who you are as a black person. Let me tell you something. Who in that time, in Harriet's time, what black male is more impactful at, than her at that time? I don't think nobody can yeah, say yeah. there is no other black man in her time that is more impactful than Harriet Tubman. So how dare you skip past her to come back down to who you want to put up there? Martin Luther King. She came way before Martin Luther King. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. So to be so sexist in ways, he's like, I don't care about fem. Well, OK, I don't care about feminism and all these things. It's just like, what do you mean? What do you mean? So, like, wait, wait. In his defense, though, not every feminist, but some feminists be just going hard. Like, they they almost be, like, down in men. Like, some feminists. I can't get into just, 100% because... Uh, is it not justified? No, it's bit, never though. justified to down somebody else to promote yourself. It's never... I, okay, like, that, even with, I, agreed, agreed. I will say that. But don't you think women have been through enough? Frederick Douglass like, came before uh, Harriet Tubman? Damn. It was before that? I, I mean... I'm but he was Tubman. more impactful what, was, than Harriet Tubman? It came before? Was he? But it, my thing is, he could have came before. You probably had to Google it. I don't know. Let, let I ain't going to say that. Yo. I don't know. I don't let, know. We're not about to have a conversation because I ain't going to look crazy. But was he? You had me on this. But that already lets me know. Google that, bro, please. Hold on. But that already lets me know he wasn't more impactful than her. Mm. That already lets me know because we would have knew that already. You got a point. We would have oh, knew that not, already. Yeah. All right. Like, I'm not, I know we've heard about Frederick Douglass and you nah, know his work he's done, but. You got a point. You got a point. Now you got a point. Like, like, Harriet Tubman. Like on, free the slaves, like that's like, a, we, like honestly, like, what all right. The fuck, bro? And she like, and she could have freed way more if they knew they were slaves. I'm just saying we ain't gonna get into that conversation. Just and you know, to 100%. say she didn't, we don't know how much she really nah, nah, freed nah, nah. on you, a number scale because you got it. we don't know. That's not and, even an argument I'm about to get into. Right? I'm not because that's all that right. to say right. is yo, absolutely right. Let our ancestor live on, son. Facts. Let give her her twenty dollars because let's not she the fact that a slave owner is next to slave owners Facts. on bills. Facts. Let my let her live. Let know? my people go. You let, feel me? You know what I'm saying? Let her live. Like, they only put her on a twenty. They could put her on a hundred. Yeah. But we'll or they take can, what we can get. Or to keep it a hundred. Nah, nah, nah. I was about to say but we she, can we can make a whole new bill and put her on that shit. But the fact that she's up there. But well, that's probably with, too much. You make a two hundred dollar bill. Everybody can't afford mm-hmm. that. <laughs> like let's do the twenty because everybody can afford a twenty. <laughs> I fuck with it. I fuck let with me it. Look, let I, me look. So Frederick Douglass. <sighs> yeah, what let's you got? See, I just want to know. Now I want to know. We only got a topic because, like, you had a point. Like, if we knew, if it if it was, we'd have known. Like, I mean, so he was before he, though. He, he was before her. But I but mean, a grand, impact, if we talk about the impact, yeah, you got it. Now nah, you got it. You got it. It's really what I'm. Talking but about. so, but and so, wait, you are right, hundred percent right. But again, into Judge Joe's Brown's point, because a lot of men always came before the woman. It would be in his point right to put a black man before you put a black woman. But we don't have to just because we're. Again, like uh, our producer Alex said, you don't have to just because you're promoting one person don't mean you have to be down right, and down to somebody else. We don't else. have to compare. Facts. We don't so, have to compare. Yeah, that was well, a great point, Alex. Shout out to Alex. But whoever I feel like at that point, whoever promoted Harriet Tubman needs more wine. Yeah, yeah. Pour can, me up. can we get some more wine, please? Well, all please. I'm saying is, whoever is here to promote Harriet. We can promote men too. We can promote men we too. Promote and both. That that just because a woman goes first doesn't mean a man can't go after. And if he does yeah. go after, it doesn't make him. The- if they the go, if he goes after, it doesn't make him any less than the woman because she came first on the money. Like that's all I'm saying. Like for him to say that if we as black men, yo, you don't drinking go Andre first, straight? That was for the mimosas. Yeah, dangerous. Oh my god, aggressive. Yeah. Oh my god. It's Sunday fun day. Why you ain't pop one of the other ones? We. She's drinking nah, nah. the Andre straight nah. without the orange juice. <laughs> oh, you is dangerous. Jay wanted her to pop the Moet. Like, come on, son. Yo, they ain't paying us. So I shouldn't be saying none of these niggas' names. Yeah, <laughs> Facts. But, like, Jim Fixin, Jim Fixin and Cashland. Jim Fitzwine. Wine. <laughs> you feel me? Jim Fitzwine. You but know nah, so, um, nah, you but got all a point. that to say is, you know, just because even if the woman comes first and the man comes last, 
on the dollar. Not last. My bad. I didn't want to say that word. Next, right? It doesn't mean the man is no, you any gotta, less great than the point. woman. Like, you know, but I just feel like because men have got to go first in so many other things, why can't we go first in something? Facts. No, no, 100%. Like, does that really make a big deal? No, nah, 100%. And if we do go first, does that take away from you? No. no. I think Judge Joe Brown, I don't like the He's way the he head. worded. He is an old head. He needs to get with the times because women is up right now. And if he knew better, he would not say that because if he knew women are the number one buyers in the U.S. So for you to say that we shouldn't be on a $20 bill and we're spending it more than you. Women are the number relax. one everything in U.S. You, you Women are the number one reason why we're going to have but a lot of listens and views on this podcast. Women are the only, like, we can just keep but it But we're not here to compare. Facts. Uh, so, but nah, you know, shout move. out to Harriet. I shout out to all my ancestors. Thank you the for building came the out, bridges. Out now. Check yes, it out. Yes, I'm really upset that that didn't get a lot of highlight, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was a little upset. Because I'm like, damn, like, they put out a Harriet Tubman movement. I thought it should have got the you know, same amount of love as Wakanda. Like, if, like, also. Black Panther? I said Wakanda. That's Black that Panther. Andre in your system. But you know what I meant. Yo, you know <laughs> what has been getting a lot of uh, promotion more than Harriet? Oh. I feel like 21 Bridges. With wow. uh With the uh, Chad, Chad, with Bo, when, how you say his name? Chad with Bolden? Bozeman. Yeah, shout out. That's the dude that played Black Platinum. But, I mean. It yeah, is. it's crazy to me that that didn't get a lot of commotion, especially because there's Janelle Monet, Janelle, uh, Janelle Monet is there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like. Yo, let's get into I, this. I uh, thought, you know, we would have. This. Um, have our, Focus There's Ray J and what's his wife's name? Princess Love. Princess Love. Yo. All right, so I ain't gonna lie. Like, I usually don't, I try not to get into like the little, the mess and shit. The tea. The tea and shit, but. Well, we here with it. Nah, it's not even that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. We here with it. I tea was on time. Some... Jay hate when I say tea time. He's like, I'm not sitting on no fucking tea. Yeah, I'm drinking <laughs> liquor. Like, my shit is hard liquor. So, but nah, I think, um, the only thing I wanna say about it for real is just like, yo, I feel Ray J. Fill him on what? <laughs> <laughs> I nah, I feel Ray J because like he, what is he, only thing he's saying is yo, like we don't have to go to social media for this, like yo, like. But he went on social media to say that. Facts. <laughs> like I, I, I digress. Like, so, all right, so. I don't know. All right, all right, great. Um, damn, you know who should be the, the motherfucking face of this what? conversation and all these conversations? What? Omarion. He should be the face of this shit. <laughs> he don't say nothing oh, about Mario nothing. Oh, got me thinking I've been overreacting to everything. I <laughs> mean, your Instagram meme, whatever. <laughs> but In fact, <laughs> in fact, I shouldn't be saying anything. Like, fact, you know. so like, what I will say is, but once somebody, once your partner takes it public, you don't want to look like the bad guy either, though. Or who gives a fuck? That's because a fact. I nah, swear, nah, like, as the man, as the man, okay, she's a woman. She's also eight months pregnant. So she probably did act out of emotion. My Let's get into it. As a man, as a man, so we're talking double standards now, huh? So when I was saying double standards are true, and they are, uh, let's get into I'm it as a saying, man. The first thing you said was as a man. But I've been saying respect is respect, and there's things, there's not. Did she lead with that, or did she say as, she led with what? Well, well, as a man. All right, so you're going to you know. calm the fuck down, because one, I've been saying the same thing. Double standards, boo, but there is a certain amount of respect you're supposed to hold on both parties. So as a man, I will say. Like if your lady is tripping, you pull her to the side. Like, yo, what are you doing? We're not doing on that all that. Go delete it. We ain't on the Instagram doing that because we in real life dealing with this as a man you're and not getting right. back on there. Hey. Like, you know, I don't know what's her problem. Like, she's at like we should be like this. Hey, like, if he did that shit one you. more time, like this, I was like, boy, Listen, go put your foot down in real life. Then I agree with you, but you know what I also agree with? Double standards. No, I don't. Tip for fucking I, tat. Wait, that's not me. That's you. What do you the whole thing. Scorpio, Scorpio's always be like the stinger. Yeah, you sting me, I'm gonna sting you back. Like that's tip that, or tap. That's that crown talking because I don't know what the fuck he's. So I'm, you I'm, never said I'm that. A Marion. Anyway, so what I will say is I agree with you. Okay. But I also agree with double standards. Double standards, and I feel like okay. that's a double standard again that I agree with. Well, like but, that's why I went into the conversation. Yo, how we deal with women when y'all on y'all uh, when y'all in y'all moves or whatever, mm -hmm. and. You are absolutely right. As a man, if your woman doing that, thank you, Corey. God damn. <laughs> as, as as a as a Corey is trying to get me drunk and shit. Like, but anyway, like Sunday fun day. As a man, you are right. Like as a man, you shouldn't. Yeah, I just feel respond. like. But I think that's a double standard because we can be both women. 
Okay, so let's just hold up. We're going to get into the road tea here because you're taking this really left. So first of all, a lot of the situation that Princess has revealed is that, you know, Ray J has been getting caught up with women and his whole situation. And then they get to Vegas. She doesn't want to move there. He's pressuring her to consider moving there. She's already irritated by that. So a lot of that is built up frustration. Like We're not going to sit here and act like Ray J wasn't a Repetitive cheating no, no, no. through this whole process, even prior to I'm not gonna, getting married. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of her thing is a breaking point. So what I'm saying is, as a man, you have caused her to break so much. She's already fragile as hell, and she's gonna do that. She's gonna be upset. It doesn't make it right, she, though. I'm not saying it makes it right, but it is to be expected because you've done put her in a lot of situations where she's she's bound to fold. You have not been secure enough for her to not to be secure enough in you to where she don't have to blast your ass for fucking banging on her constantly. You know what I mean? So you have to now do your part. You made your bed. You lay in it. So you let me don't break go it down. meet her where she is because you put her there. Now you go take her from where she is and you say, I'm going to lift you back up. I'm sorry. We shouldn't be here. I put us here. I know you went to social media, but we don't belong So there. we talked about Period. this already. I'm going to break it down. So basically, in that situation, you got to be Superman. We, if you hold on, Superman. That's first we, of all, we broke it we're down. We're not gonna act like Ray J is wasn't fucking Mr. Glass because he's been breaking everything. Like, so we're not gonna sit here and do that, okay? Because he's not Superman. But what I'm saying, but, she was wrong for bringing it to social media. He he okay. made a post about them being a family. He's and she's See, after he left uh, her stranded in Vegas. He came to clean up his image. Let's talk about it. You didn't want to look bad while you were leaving me and your daughter stranded, knowing I couldn't drive back home eight months pregnant by myself. Wait, he said he said. He, we heard both of that story. He said he didn't leave her. Was he in that? Was he in there where he was like, "We're right here." Where was she? He, I don't know. She wasn't there. She was in another hotel because she had to check out. All, right, all, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, like, come all I'm on. saying is, all I'm saying is, we don't know. We so don't know. So I'm not about to judge. So what I'm saying is, they could have got in an argument. And he could have just left to take some time off for himself. He not leave. That don't mean I'm leaving you. I'm just taking some time. All right, but this is when we go back to that sensitivity thing. When I'm eight months pregnant, you don't get no fucking time to. Yourself. So I gotta be. Superman. No, you have to stand up. I'm fucking carrying this three month, three pound baby. I'm eight pregnant. I got your other baby on my hip. Where the fuck are you going? I'm about to go blow some going? steam off so I don't disrespect you. Where are you going? Or I'm about to go walk, take a walk down the strip, back. go gamble or something mm. so I don't disrespect you. I mean, so I might you don't need disrespect because I've been dealing with you. You act like you've been dealing with nine months by yourself. I've been dealing with it as well. So I had my breaking point too. So before Man I got break, it twisted. no. Like, so before I, wait, I can't have been, some time by myself. You so, can have time by yourself if you relay that message. But when you just leave and block her, fair. So what I'm saying, wait, 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 wait. Again, again. In his defense, right? This don't make it okay. A lot of relationships aren't your 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 statue relationship. Like That's a right. lot of relationships aren't your model relationship. That's and, and what I mean by that is a lot of relationships, all relationships have problems. And a lot of relationships are are, are, are are toxic. This new word toxic, right? So if that's what they do in their, in their everyday relationship, we can't really say what's right because if you block me, you unfollow me. So now I'm upset. Let's I'm just giving you what you give me. And I'm again, let me make this clear. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's what they're used to. So you can't do anything else until you unlearn everything you learned before this is what i'm saying right okay we're gonna talk about what what our relationship is like but can we take a step out of the fucking childish behavior your wife is eight months pregnant do you think it's smart for you to block her she can go in labor right now let's talk about grow the fuck up like all those emotions that you're feeling you gotta block me i gotta go step off i need to go gamble i need to get away from you boy it's too so late why for can't that. we feel the you're same here. way you can so feel what? when, when y'all when y'all get on our when y'all get on our nerves right it's either so you got so many men and this is a real thing domestic violence is real yes. and again I, I don't even want to come off like i'm excusing any of it because i'm not however people have their breaking points people have their times when they're just fed up a lot of times women will push you to a breaking point where you put your hands on them and now you're shit out of luck so we a lot of times so control though like why why can't we all right even, on, even like, if you like, wanted to step off i'm not saying to step provoke off. somebody is step real off, too though off. go put your phone over there check it periodically what if she was like i'm in labor because facts. your childish ass is facts, so facts, mad facts. you can't control all your i'm saying but you had to go block her why you can't just step off and i'm gonna put my eye in deal so on right now and, and check your phone oh shit she in labor. so all the time go. if she gonna labor right now he would have no idea no you're right you would have no idea i'm saying you're right get your childish shit up together i'm saying you are right however i just feel like sometimes women can do the same thing do what? She didn't block like, him. She, but she did block him before. 
right, but you're right. Like, I, like, I, I, I can't even I argue that. I just feel like, look, I can't I argue just that. Feel like every situation is going to be a little different, but I think everybody has to be mindful to the situation at that time. Like, there's no way in hell we're not at home. Like, if we're home and I'm at home and you block me, I'm at home. I'm at my house. Like, I could call my mom. I could hey, call my sister. Let's put Somebody this on could record. be right next. So we are four and a half hours away from my house. I'm eight months pregnant. I have your little baby who could be crying and irritated and all this because we're crying and irritated yes. and all this. And I have to deal with everything while you go fucking block me and go run the streets, gamble, do what the fuck you ever want to do. I could fucking stress myself into, out into labor right now. Let's put this on record. Put this on record. If, if you get pregnant before we get married. Because I'm trying to have a baby. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Moment of silence for that shit. Anyway, what? Anyway, if you if you was to get pregnant right before we get married, okay. And okay, I like this because I ain't pushing out the baby unless he bought a bring. But you on. just said Bitch, you wanted I been to... on Fendi Prince on. No, yeah, but you don't got like Fendi Prince on. You got Jim Fitz on. Jim Fitz on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, but look, if you if you was if you get pregnant before we get married, right? Okay. If I don't have to walk out on that ass. I promise I'll marry you before you even have the damn kid. Nine months. If I don't have to walk out on you. If, wait, wait, wait. If, because you was a motherfucking two hands full. If I don't have to walk out on you during your pregnancy, right? Right. On everything. I will marry you. Oh, say less. I'm mute. If if you if you don't if listen, if you can give me nine months. Of me not tripping or not of you not tripping and you not hold going through. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Are you about to be all right? Because like, hold on. Like, because you're talking about if I could give you nine months. Are you going to give me nine months of sanity, motherfucker? If you're out here. But that's what I'm saying. To, if, if you if give me like, nine hold on, months hold on, hold on. of. If you about to be like, no, you need to fall in line with what you're asking at the same motherfucking time. Because we could work together. Because we could do this. <laughs> we, could, we could work this out where we do get married. Like, before. Like I said, if you give me nine months, right? Are you not acting crazy? If I don't, back to what I was saying. If I don't have to walk out on you, if I don't have to Ray J your ass, we will get married. Nigga, the day look, of you your, Ray the J day J of your la la labor, I will bring a motherfucking pastor oh, to the. Listen, I'll bring a pastor to the labor room. We gonna invite all the family. Nigga. If you don't get me no issues, I promise you'll get the ring. And I'm gonna tell that you night. right now, if you give me Ray J issues, I'll send that baby right back to the Lord. Hey like, yo, you got me whoa! Like, you got me bad. You you lucky it's just it's just, it's just <laughs> episode three because if we was famous, that that clip right forgive there would me. be viral. Forgive me, <laughs> that, forgive that, me. But if he think he about the you Ray can't J say that. Me, Listen, wait, wait. Look, you I can't say shit bullshit. like that on a podcast because like I'll if we be were famous, a who we wants the baby? Because right, I ain't better. dealing with that's better. That's better because like I was. Send the, the baby to the Lord. Oh my God! No, don't do that. Look, don't come boycotting outside my house talking about no abortion, no abortion. Because let me tell you something: if the situation ain't right. Get rid of it. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, um, I'm actually pro-abortion too. So I mean, I can say that. You know, that's my stance. Period. Yo, you wanna um, I think you wanna pull, take the hat, or um, did we, we have something else to talk about? We got through topics. Oh, yo. So we had to talk about Ari, Ari, Ari Linux. And Summer I wanted to Walker. talk about the internet versus Summer Walker. And it's, fact, it's crazy that we... See how shit should be so perfect? That's the yeah. Lord. So... <laughs> That's the Lord. We were talking about how, like, going viral, right? And, like, just having this this image and his name to withhold when you're viral. And we were talking about Summer Walker versus the internet. I wanted to talk about that because it's like somebody said this to me, and I, I feel like they had a great point. When it comes to LGBTQ community, when it comes to abortions, when it comes to fucking uh i said lgbtq when it comes to everything but being black is not okay to make fun of like what on uh, summer walkers she's going through her um social anxiety. her social anxiety phase when it comes to mental health everything except for being black is not okay to make fun of yeah. but as soon as people and i, I don't want to sound like this preacher or anything but it's real when they brought it to my system like damn that's real we make jokes about people being black all the time yeah. right as long as somebody white don't do it it's okay yeah but as soon as we make fun of social anxiety. As soon as we say something about a LGBTQ, as soon as we say something about yeah. abortions or something, everybody want to jump on this train and yeah. be like, oh, you can't say that. Yeah. You need to take mental health serious. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like, first of all, Summer Walker, you look crazy, <laughs> man. Like, not Yo, even I a, a, Like, she no. got the picture. I wish we could. Matter of fact, Her pull the picture up. Her album bang, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> pull the picture up. Fuck it. Give me a second. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. We're going to put that right there. Like, so, look. 
<laughs> she look crazy. So I'm gonna make fun of you. I don't give a fuck. Like, like, well, some real shit. I love her album though. Her album Bang. It does crazy. But as far as summer, she has completely turned me off. She be like, wilding in the street, but the next thing you turn around is, oh, oh, oh my God, I'm and socially my, awkward. And, and you know what? And that's what really irritates me, right? It's really people who really I'm not saying she's not struggling with it, right? But there's people, there's this statistical elements to show when somebody who's actually working with it right so the thing is you show half and half signs right, right. it's like you 50 50 right sometimes you are so social anxiety like you can't deal you're on stage i don't want to deal then you, you in the middle of the street with your ass all out right. up pop right. block and drop it exactly. fuck out of here it's like boy. pick a side like you cannot pick and choose when you want to be socially socially anti like you know what i mean especially when people are fans of yours like i'm so sick of people saying how her concerts are trash they met her she's dry it's like yo Let's i get, get you are not into people maybe but then honestly do virtual music yeah, like do don't else. be like every day on instagram mm. posting pictures now you with your man because at the end of the day yes you don't have to because i'm really getting tired of people saying this like okay when she's with her man she's not anti he she's makes her feel comfortable he makes her feel that that's fucking fine but don't keep posting it on fucking instagram and when your fans are looking for the same reaction from you have your some fans consideration. who are getting you fucking paid you're not showing them no consideration like have some consideration like they don't want to see that like they don't want to see that but i mean so nah, that you could be point. selectively <clears throat> social but at the same time you can't be 50-50 on when you want to do it. Like, I think, like, selectively social is like, all right, I know I have a meet and greet, right? right? You know, my fans appreciate me. I appreciate my fans. So I should give them a side of me because they're also deserving of that comfortability at the same time. I don't have to be, oh, wow, ah, like, but it's like, you know, yeah. I, and you know thank part you for coming. <clears throat> you know, she could be, she could be, like, more open. Like, like for example... Her meet and greet, I've read one of her stories. One of the girls was like, I met her. She just didn't even say hi. Like, she just stood for a picture and walked off. Like, you can say, like, you know, I appreciate you for being a fan. Thank you for coming to see me. You can make it one-on-one -on -one without being so enthusiastic. Or, or. Like, you don't have to be like, oh, my God, so, you came to see me. So not even. Let's turn up. Like, you could be like, yo, thank you. But before we get into you. that, though. Because honestly, I'm, like, as friendly as I am, I'm not that friendly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I know when to push it. Like, I know when to still be give you enough where i'm not giving you all of me at the same time right. or like, it can be like honestly like not to say because if somebody takes a picture with you that that means they do care so let's not take i don't want to take too true. much credit wait that's wait wait true. wait that's not that is true because i don't have you. to take the picture what i so, said at bliss one time future was at bliss this girl tugged him he was like whatever he was like and again he was taking pictures and but again like, right uh, after that's again, their job what, nah, what, that's a part of their job again you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do like if they when don't you're getting paid yes the fuck you do listen some it don't be contracts sometimes it be contracts to take pictures sometimes don't all the thing i'm saying is, is she's taking a picture let's acknowledge that right one two you can't it, it, it is a better way you can go about it you can tell your manager you can tell somebody like yo just let them know i'm in a mood today and you could you could you could have it explained another thing is Sometimes it comes off as disrespectful and cocky. It's like, yo, you can cancel this concert, but you can be, but you can be out there doing all this in front of everybody or the people that you fuck with. It's, it's like, unfair. yo, it's like a spit in the face. It's unfair. Yeah, it's like a spit in the face. So what I will say is, I understand that social anxiety is real. Yes, However, I don't, feel, I don't agree with the way she's going about. I feel like Not she's going about it like I'm socially awkward. Y'all gotta accept it yeah, and because I got everybody. For, right, I got the internet on my right, side. I can right. do what I want, and they're gonna like me for for right. whatever. And that's it's what like, I don't like yeah. about it. It's just like it's so cocky. Like yeah, this is what I, I am. This y'all could take it or leave it. And it's like, baby, we don't have to like you at all. You're not <laughs> like, like you gotta like, understand. You're like, new. Like, you gotta understand, honestly, Lauren Hill. Like you, that's we, like you. You're new. Like you could be gone today, gone tomorrow. We gonna like another popping bitch in two weeks. Like you gotta understand, like popping up, like popping. Lauren artists. Hill, like Lauren Hill album, the uh, miseducation of what is it? Of um, a black what's the name of her album? Lauren Hill, miseducation of I ain't listen to it. Whatever, that shit is crank. So. I love you, Lauren. I just so Lauren Hill, right? Album. Um, her album was great. Miseducation of uh, Negro or Black Woman, something like that. It's like something like that. Anyway, Why can I think of it? I don't. Oh, miseducation of Lauren Hill. I'm what? thinking of okay. uh, Cardi G. What's oh anyway? Um, yeah. so yo, I Sorry, feel like. Uh, I feel like um, Lauren Hill is a legend. She was with the Fuji. She did a lot of legendary things. So when she comes out and have not so good of a concert, it's not okay, but it's Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. Summer Walker, you ain't built that resume yet. 
So you can't just be coming out here doing anything and expecting it to be okay because you ain't Lauren Hill. Like even Lauren Hill, like even Lauren Hill get a, a lot of flack because like, yo, my nigga, like Lauren Hill, what are you doing? She come out her concerts and I heard it's like she be yeah. late as shit. Yeah. But it's like, and it's like I, I don't want to get it twisted. Like I don't mind her saying, you know, <clears throat> I don't mind her having social anxiety. I don't mind her expressing that to the public. But being super choosy, where it's not just selective, it's just like, it's just. Like I said, it's like almost like passive aggressively, like I can do this when I want to do this. Facts. And that's how it's coming off. And if it's not how it's supposed to come off and that's how you're delivering it, I think you should take the time to just address that. Yeah. Like, yo, to look at I don't in the mirror, mean like, it. Like, just, I? Yeah. yeah, like I don't mean for it to come out that way. And, and I is, really do love my fans. But right now, you don't really seem ap apologetic yeah, even about her, it. When she you dropped the concert, seem, she was just like, yeah, yeah, I just gotta make sure I'm good. It like, and it's just about you. I think even when I, if you have social anxiety, it's just not about you. And if you are delivering p music, I think people who deliver music are somewhat of a humanitarian at the same point, right. because you are delivering to people who actually support and are like you, and you're, they're relating to you, and they want to be engaged with you. Like people really have real fans. So because you are this person, you could be social anxiety, but you do have to be sympathetic you have social, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be sympathetic for the people who relate late to you and have already fell in love with you and don't disappoint them like and I mean you're gonna disappoint people along the way but you don't have to intentionally like like I know this is how I am and you, you know and you just gotta deal with it that's so disturbing that's to me fact. that's did disturbing. you um did you I fuck with Ari Lennox like mm. you get what I'm saying and like you know what it's crazy because I know you know people are giving her backlash for her stream of tweets I feel like <clears throat> so what Ari did she Lennox, tweet? Like, I didn't even... um, she just basically tweeted how she felt like, you know, she put her heart and soul into her music and she felt like if anybody, she deserved the Soul Train Award because she delivered to black people. So and she Lizzo de don't... delivered to the soul. So um, Lizzo won, right? Lizzo won. <clears throat> I, here's the thing. I do feel like Lizzo had a way more impact. Yeah, I'm going to say, y'all got to understand, Lizzo yeah. came through for the big woman. And, and I ain't taking that away from Ari Lennox, just, but... Honestly, I don't even want... Cause but that, has about, a, that plays on, a big on, part on, in the, the hold impact, up, though. Hold up. What I've learned about heavy set women, they hate for people to be like, oh, they are representing for big women. No, they're representing for themselves and who uh, they are. I don't they think are every... individual. No. Because I, I know there's some black women out there. I mean, some big women out she, there that might she's appreciate not it. She's just big, though, but she's big. She's sexy. She's personable. She's a lot of things outside but, of a big but woman. No, of course. And but I what think I'm saying is. Because, no, because here's the thing. If she was just a big woman, I don't think that makes a difference. She has but, hella wait, wait. personality. No, like, but what? That, but we can't take away that she's a big one. Like, no, that's she like that's is. like that's like that's like taking away from somebody being great and they're black. We're gonna be like, yo, the fact that he's great right, and he's fair, black. It's like fair, a lot of big women don't get that that love. A lot of big women don't get that. What, for the because I know a, a couple fire big, but I do as well. I'm not fine, taking away from them. Black women, and what I do know is they don't like for that to be the start of their. Who they are, but nobody does like a black person. Fine. Don't don't like to be the start of that. I'm black. I want to nah, be human. But like, okay, for but example, what I'm saying is, we we're gotta, black. We're who, who we are. But a lot of times, people aren't like just like, oh, she's I don't know, black. So like, no, like sometimes people just want to be identified for their talent. That's a fact. And, and that's I'm not. What I, I'm not taking away from the, that. I don't want to put it that Lizzo is big of why she won. Lizzo is hella. No, fucking I didn't say she talented. was. I didn't say she won because she I'm was big. I said that. that played a part of her impact. So when it comes to I don't but, think I don't think that was but, I think that made a part, but I think that's she's not true. I'm when you look at it, talented. she is overly talented, but you <clears throat> you can't say that didn't play a part because right, if it didn't play a part, they wouldn't be talking about it in an interview. They wouldn't be talking about it when they talk about her. They talk about this because big women like Kelly, like they don't get the attention that they deserve. So because she was one of them big women, and she was and she was. She was unapologetic. Yeah, she was herself. exactly. That plays a big part in who yeah. she is. That's like a black person again, the the president. He was the first black person. It wasn't because like he was Barack. He was black. My nigga, that's the first black president. That means a lot. She but was, I'm sure if you talk to Barack, he wants to be known as of his course, presidency but and what he delivered. That's a, instead I'm not of just disagreeing with black. that. However, that's all, that's all I'm saying. That's however, I'm we saying. can't, we can't, we gotta own that because that's just our society. That's fine. But when I'm gonna talk about Lizzo, I'm gonna say, bitch, you fire. You know what I'm saying? You held it down. You sexy. You vocal. You. Talented as hell with the flute, like you talented so, overall. When well, I'm gonna talk about she, Lizzo, I'm gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna talk about everything around her because honestly, if you put Lizzo and Ari Lennox back to next, next to each other, and if you make Lizzo skinny and you put them, make them the same size, and, and uh, Ari Lennox skinny and Lizzo skinny, I don't think she would have had that, uh, That's that not true. big of an impact. That. Like yo, Lizzo, come, yo. 
I don't. Think I don't think that. she had that big of an impact. Her, yo, part of her. You gotta be great. That was way bigger than BMO. That was way bigger than BMO. All I'm Without saying is, looking at who they are, okay. that was way bigger than BMO. I, I just and like, I love BMO. Like I love BMO. I think all, I the, love all, all BMO, I'm saying is I think her image way, played a big part I of don't. it. I think the record, like the record, that record itself blew BMO out the water. I'm sorry. Everybody loves that fucking record. Honestly, I don't even know Why what BMO they, is. What is that? Sing break it. me up. And is she, is she, she right with it? it? No, like, summertime, like, like, honestly, again, no, it is. It, it blew but again, I feel like, water. not because I'm saying I like it more, but it hits every generic likes it more. Like, it's not like BMO exactly was what it was. It was a, like, so for that is what I'll say is for Ari, right? I fuck with Ari. Don't get it fucked up, right? I do think BMO was a more soulful record. Like, so I see why, you know, that whole album, not even just BMO, but that whole album for Soul Train Awards. Yes. Yeah. You know, if it was MTV Awards. But even still, so fine. what I'm going to say is for Soul Train Awards, right? Honestly, I'm going to say because of everything surrounded around Lizzo, that's huge for our black woman, our black, big, like heavy set define, woman. Define industry plant for me. Six, nine. Okay. I don't know. Do you, do you think Lizzo was an industry plant? Uh, nah. I think she just had a moment that um, because you gotta understand uh, that song. What, what's the name of it? Which one? Lizzo song. Um, whatever the name. Truth hurts. That song was out for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like it was out for like maybe a couple years or something mm -hmm. like that, and it blew two years. So it was it was it was out for two years before it blew. So I wouldn't say she was an industry plant. I feel like she she was the definition or the epitome of what people want America to be. And America is like, yo, if you keep working, it'll eventually happen, right? So like, I feel like for her, she was that exact, that exact, like, yo, be patient, keep working, and eventually it'll pay off. And that doesn't come every year. That comes like every, every so once, mm -hmm. in, once in a while. And I feel like she was a great example of like what, what would happen if you continue to work, no matter yeah. what you look like, no matter how big or tall, yeah. big or small you are, yeah. it will work because of who you are, how talented you are. And I feel like she was that example. If you want to make that an industry plant, maybe. Okay, fair. So what I will say is, right, I think that Ari Lennox is getting a lot of backlash now for what she has said. Just, you know, uh, how people will plant being a sore loser, mm -hmm. I guess. But I think she has every voice, reason and right to voice how she feels of being disappointed right. she, you know on not winning the social Train awards because you gotta understand i think every artist works very very hard and when you put your heart and soul into something when you don't win it is it is tough to you know deal with and i think her voicing that that's okay she's allowed to feel like you know i'm a work artist i work my fucking ass off and i'm talented as fuck and i should have won I, like you already know yeah, yeah. like i i feel like i'm 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 okay with her doing that i have no reason to bash her for doing that and i think people need to let up off of her for expressing how she feels it's not being a sore loser i'm sure she congratulated lizzo like i think she's just really hurt by the situation and the politics to the situation because like I, like you said a lot of people did favorite lizzo due to everything her was surrounded every, her. everything surrounded it heavy set unapologetic black girl a lot of heavy set women don't get to have that same shine as a lot of small i want to give a um you know figure women and all those things i want to give a different outlook on it right i feel like again it goes back to expectations i wish we can take expectations out of like and it, granted like it's things like that really show you how how hard you work so yeah. i don't want to i want i don't want to put too much on not having expectations of winning an award because it does yeah. it gives you some type of validation yeah however we don't have to put out all into these other platforms because honestly, we are the people that make them. Right. Like I don't you think she's, a, when she says she should like she thinks about like I guess quitting or like giving this shit up. I think that's a feeling momentarily that a lot of people feel. But when, even that, the you fact know what I mean? That, I think you feel fact, it. I yeah, feel of course. It sometimes, like, but I'm saying the so fact that you can feel that way that. because of an award show that honestly, if you don't come to the award show, they have no award show. Like that's what I'm saying. Like. If, if if nobody came, if they can nominate, we were talking about this for the local awards. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't mean to downplay it, but I be telling people like, the award show isn't nothing. Like they 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 nominate so many people. Yeah. Why? Because so, yeah. so many people feel good yeah. and they can promote their shit. Now, guess what? If none of you promote it, if none of you go, 
they have it's, no award it's show. It's no different than voting, like how I put it. Like, you know, if you, like your, sometimes, sometimes her fan base just wasn't encouraged enough to vote, but it mm-hmm. doesn't mean they like her any less. Like, just like in Congress, like we, you know, some people are ignorant to the fact of voting and how to vote. Like, she might be talking to a group that just genuinely just didn't get out there and yeah. push their votes through, but they love her equally. That don't mean anything. And it yeah, doesn't mean like, anything, right? So I think that, like, you know, but I think it's just a normal emotion that she's yeah, feeling. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. You know what I mean? I think people need to give her her time and not to be so harsh on her because it is, an, it, it is overall a normal emotion. And I think she's being transparent. And I think it allows people to be able to be transparent in their emotion when they're feeling it. So fucking what? I should have fucking won. I and, and and I'm okay with that. I wanted to win. I should have won. I worked my ass off, and it's okay. You work hard. You should feel like that. You're like you know right. what I mean? So, nah, you're right. Let's um. Shout out to Lizzo and Ari Lennox. Shout though. out to both of them. Shout out ladies. to Sky uh, Summer Walker too. Summer Walker too, because I definitely bumped that album faithfully. I now, love that cranked. fucking album. That shit cranks. And I think that's I a part of why people are so disappointed yeah, with her, her shit like, crank. Right, but and her shit cranks. So I don't want to take nothing away from it. I fuck with Summer Walker album. Like let's, I listen to it faithfully. Body is one of my favorite. Favorite let's songs. not let's not let's not get it twisted. Let's shout out to Lennon on the track as well. Facts He's because he he played a huge, huge part, part in like just you know developing what? He her loves and helping her. Yeah, I yeah. love the way he likes her shout out to and Lennon loves on the her. Track. And he's dealing with all her antics, yep. and that shows a str- like he really cares about her well being. Somebody tell me what Summer Walker uh, Zodiac sign like. What's oh yeah, please. And, and can you get the um, oh my god? It's time to get the hat. <laughs> yeah, let's get the hat. Let's get the hat. We the take a guess. What you think she is? A cancer. Sheesh, that's a great fucking. <laughs> that's a great. I think she is. Okay. Oh, before y'all tell me, hold up, hold up. She's either a cancer or a Pisces. See, I, I would say she's. A, oh my gosh, she's April what? Damn, she's an he Aries. Didn't a chance to guess. Like God damn. She's an Aries. She's an Aries. I have no. I don't damn, know nothing about Aries. I don't know because one of my good friends. Shout out to Janita Nita Boo. That's my bae. One of my good friends have been friends with her for a very long time, and she is not that. <laughs> like, they, let me tell you something about Aries. Aries, Aries are so strong. Well, maybe because they're so strong headed, but they like that bit. Like, they like, I'm that bitch, and I don't give a fuck. I could say she's strong headed on what she stands for. She's like, I'm not doing that whole social thing. Y'all could do what you want, but. I don't know. Mm. I want to give her Aries. So I ain't gonna lie. This, this liquor got me make me want to give you a kiss and stuff like. You got like all that stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the tongue shit on the camera, man? <laughs> Poor shit. He's not. Nah, nah, I'm moody now. On, I'm in a different mood. Like he just blew me. Like. Mm. All right. So you know what part of the segment we at? We at the time where we take from the hat and we pull a certain zodiac. So let's see what we got here. Let me, Let me pull it. Up. You want to Google it? Yeah. Or, you want to right, boom, boom. a different. Um, Yo, said this liquor got me make you, making me feel like I want to give you a kiss. They can't give me a kiss all day. Yo, you need to pull your phone. Pick your phone. All right, come on, tell me what it is. Oh, we is literally it? just talked about this. It's a cancer! <laughs> Yo, we got a house full of cancers. Yo, right? that's crazy. So How did this cancer, happen? Like, it's meant to be let me nice. tell you what the fuck I think about cancers <laughs> right now. Oh my god, yo! It's cancer time, yo! Oh, oh wow. my fucking god! That's Let me perfect. tell you. All right, so honestly, I feel like cancers are my biggest homies. Like I can be friends with a cancer. I could never, ever, ever in my life date a cancer ever again. Oh my fucking god! When I say they are emotional, it's like yo. Shut the fuck up. Like, you cry so much about nothing. It's like, one of my friends is a cancer. Shout out to my alarm brother, David. Oh, my God. He's so, he's uh, a crybaby. But, no, Tevin is different because he's like on the, what y'all call it, the cusp. Like, Tevin is like the oh, last day okay, or something. Okay, so like, he's, okay, you know what okay, I'm saying? Okay. So, he's, he's borderline Gemini, maybe? Or, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I fuck with Tevin. But David, oh, my God. Like, he's a, the biggest crybaby, baby back bitch in, like, oh my God. David, I love I'm you. so sorry. I would never, because I love David. I do too. I, that's why okay. I call him that, because I love him. But it's like, damn. Okay, Let me tell some you how, skin. before I read Cancer Zodiac. But I, I fuck with him as homies, though. I'm going to keep Like, I fuck with Nana Cancers. Cancers as homies. I fuck with him, like, as long as you, like, I fuck with him. So like, because, man, because David is one of my closest line brothers. Yeah. Believe it or not. Like, he's really, he's, I'm going to talk all that shit about him, but he's, one of my closest line brothers. He's like my brother, like my blood. Like, yeah. but I talk about him it's because crazy. of Cancers, that. Cancers, I think so. It's funny. So any everything pulls up before I read the horoscope. Cancers' best friends typically are a Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, or Pis- Pisces. 
I love cancers. Like they are so loving. They are. They are. And I Facts. guess because they I'm are. a Scorpio, because I'm a Scorpio <clears throat> and I'm typically just as emotional, I think we completely get each other. So like how I'm feeling. Told you I'll be emotional. I said it. Like how I'm feeling and they're feeling, we completely understand each other. And cancers give like this undeniable amount of love Facts. that that's I just really adore because that's what Scorpios crave. So that's a fact. I no, that's love a fact. That's a fact. Cancers <clears throat> because cancers just are so loving. Like I love them. So I'm going to so read the horoscope. Cancer, what? It's, I said best friend. Relax. I mean, it does say Mary, you know, cancer compati- compatibility. That's it says cancer compatibility. Relax. I'm about to get the fuck out and go. So, baby, sit down. Don't want to date a cancer. Um. So, cancer horoscope today says. Sorry, my phone. All right, boom. Today, cancer. Many times you can be sensitive to small matters that others may find trivial, but your loved one should understand, not instigate you with them. The moon in Libra will make you feel irritated or disappointed point, disappointed with your partner's behavior today as they begin brochets, the same subject that brings you hackles up. If he or she is just doing it for the sake of fun, stop getting provoked. If this is something that needs discussion and you are repeatedly sweeping it under the carpet, then it is time you sit down to sort it out and get out the way once and for all. Forest green is your lucky number, your lucky color today. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. is a good phase for you to plan and execute tasks of importance. Remember, Cancer, you are always the sun and the shine. Oh, Shout out to the Cancers, cancer man. Shout out to the Cancers so in the room. Much. <clears throat> uh, I love Cancer so much. I'm a big fan of Cancers. It's funny because um, I have a good amount of Cancers around, and I always think they're always fun and loving and nurturing, and they just bring they a certain amount of just upbeat, like, you know, like, understanding, and I think it's really important to have a couple Cancers around. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <clears throat> it's crazy because... Yeah. Now you're right. Yeah. I think I just had one experience when it wasn't none of that. But you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, You're right. Yeah, I don't know about that. But one. anyway, uh, <laughs> nah, all my cancer, like, that, yeah. now I think about it, all my mm-hmm. cancer friends, nah, they, they definitely, like, I fuck with them. Shout out to cancers. <clears throat> yeah, shout out to cancers. Corey in here. Shout Alex out. in here. Producer Alex. Jim Fitz, Corey. They all cancers, and I fuck with it. Look hey, at them. Hey, listen, man. Um, Make sure you subscribe to the uh, page. We're going to put us. We might put... Cause we did a lot of work for this. We might put this on YouTube. Um, yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Make sure you uh, hit the notification button so every time you drop, you can know that we dropped. Um, we're gonna be dropping this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, What's uh, Google uh, Android, Podcasts, yeah, Google. There we um, go. Anchor. Shout out yeah. to Anchor. We're gonna be dropping this on all type of audio platforms tonight. So make sure you uh, fuck with us. Make sure you subscribe to our channels. Make sure you follow her. Healer Bay underscore. You already know what the fuck is going on. I told her she should have changed her name to Bay Hill, but it is what it is. You could you he, can follow me at Mister underscore J Hill. That I yeah, could have been Mrs. underscore Bay Hill. I want to be directly attached to him with everything. So, but it is in my bio, Bay Hill. You already know what the fuck going on. So, follow me, Healer Bay. Remember, I just got a Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All and that. We you already out. know, man. Gemini Scorpio podcast.